Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a transparent GIF, or in other words, a GIF without a background. Now, a lot of people might be asking why I didn't include this in my last video, how to make an animation in GIMP. Well, the reason is because this is such a commonly asked process that I just wanted to save a lot of people time. Also, it's really simple and you don't really need to go through that entire video to figure it out. So, um, pretty much all you have to do is open up GIMP, and if you don't know how to use it, then I guess you could check out this video. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is download GIMP from GIMP.org, I believe, and just open it up. And what you want to do is go into File, open this layer, and open all of your frames. Uh, now, if you're following this video, they should be transparent, and if you don't know how to make them transparent, then you probably should be checking out my How to Make GIMP video. But, um... Yeah, they should all be transparent, and to find out if they're transparent, they're, they're pretty much just a checkerboard pattern right over here. And that just signifies that they're transparent, and you want to load all of your frames up. Now, what you might have already done is gone to filters, animation, playback, and you might have noticed that they kind of overlap on each other, the frames, meaning it doesn't really give the sense of animation, it just sort of piles all the frames on top of each other, which a lot of people don't want. So the, to fix that, it's pretty simple. Let me just try and X out of here. Um, all you have to do is go into File, Export. I'm just going to export it as Wiggly Guy. And I'm going to replace my old one. Now, you want to have certain things checked. Uh, you want to have As Animation checked, obviously. But you also want to have Frames Disposal Where Unspecified. Usually, this is on I Don't Care. We don't want that. We want one frame per layer replaced. This makes it so that each frame plays as an individual, no, each layer plays as an individual frame, meaning that it doesn't overlap on each other. So when I export it, and I open it up again, give me, just give me a second, just open it up. When I try and play it in the animation, it is pretty smooth, and it actually replaces the frames. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty, it's pretty simple. And then you can just upload it to um, Tumblr or whatever you wanted to. But um, yeah, guys, I hope this video helped you. Uh, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this is a pretty short video. Sorry if you wanted something longer, guys. Uh, but uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.